Hi, my name is Caitlin Ansari. Hi, and I'm Gina Chandra. And we are here in beautiful Raymond, Washington, about to meet with Nicola Pellian, who is the survival skills consultant for the new movie, Leave No Trace. Nicola is going to show us some of the essential skills that the actors need to know to play in the movie. I'm excited. Let's go. Yeah, let's do this. <laughs> excited to have oh you here today. Thank you so much. What are you doing over here? Well, today I've been collecting a little kindling okay. and also collecting a little bit of food. It's kind of the things that I did for the actors in Leave No Trace. Uh -huh. I thought we'd mimic some of the activities that I went over with them of how to live in the wilderness. That's exciting. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm, excited. I'm excited. Good. So I hope you girls are ready yeah. for that. I'm excited. <laughs> a few things that I collected. These are chanterelle mushrooms. Gorgeous. They have the gills. That's these ridges on the bottom. And when you cut it open, it's white on the inside. Can you now, eat these raw? I don't recommend eating okay. mushrooms raw. It's not very good for your digestion and you don't get a lot out of it. I recommend cooking them. I do have a few goodies here that you can try raw though. Now this one is one of my favorites. It's called wood sorrel or oxalis. It has a lovely sort of sweet sour taste. That's actually really bad. good. I would yeah. eat those all day it long. Snack on those. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. All right, yeah. we have a winner. <laughs> There's plenty in the woods if you know what to look for. This is just a small sampling. This took me a good five minutes to collect. How do you feel about banana slugs? I gotta say, this is one of my favorite foods in the woods. You don't wanna eat it raw, they have a parasite in them, so you wanna make oh, sure okay. that you cook your slugs, ladies. Yes. <laughs> and the key is just to cook it well enough. When all the slime's gone, that's pretty much done. These are the gonads in here. How many of your friends have eaten slug gonads? But I'm, I'm pretty proud that you tried it at all, so. <laughs> well, I mean, like you said, how many people can say that they've had a slug gonad? I think very, <laughs> very few. We're going to go do a little shelter, learn okay. about the basics of shelter building. Shelter is of such importance anywhere you are. But here in the Pacific Northwest, it's really, really key. It's a hot day today, right? Yeah. yeah. Just put your hand on the ground. Oh, it's cool. It's cool. Imagine in the winter time what that's gonna do. It's gonna suck all your body heat. Exactly. Oh. There's a scene where he builds something called an A-frame debris shelter. And okay. that's the structure behind us. A ridge pole is the center pole here. And I've made a tripod here in oh, front. Okay. That's not going anywhere at all, and that's what you want. You would take these branches, and it's gonna insulate you from the ground. So you make a bed of debris, and then you sleep on top of that. You want to get it a bit off the ground. A nice long pull. Does that feel better with a long pull? Yeah. Yay! Oh, caught my first tree. Yay! Right? Yay! Oh my god! <laughs> Woo! That was awesome! Well, I think Thank the next you. thing we need to learn is fire because fire is life. All right. Should we go? Let's yes, do it. Let's All right, do it. let's go. Fire is so important. It means you can cook your food. It means you can boil your water. A really great place to find dry wood is under these really large canopies of spruce and hemlock. Well, the reason I have a ferro rod is to light a spark. You just have to have something to catch it. That thing is called a tinder bundle. In the Pacific Northwest, wood is often very wet. You need to get to the middle of it to even get to dry wood. I'm gonna split this wood down. And that's batoning wood? It's called batoning wood. Okay. Now it's not wood. Awesome. <laughs> Feather sticking. So what we're doing is we're just trying to increase surface area. You turn your wood slightly each time. The idea is to make these really beautiful long curly cues. It takes time. It oh, takes I'm time to. to learn it. <laughs> called a ferrocerium rod, and it throws a very hot spark. Yeah. And you want to get fairly close to it. Okay. <laughs> hey, <wow. laughs> I started nice. a fire. Okay. Oh, that's fantastic. A real great trick is to put your, your fingers around your mouth. So. Oh. <laughs> like that. All right, ladies, here we go. I have some trout. I have done you the service of gutting them. I'm gonna open them up completely, and so I can actually run a couple sticks through them and so we can grill them over the fire. Now you don't wanna go all the way through, you're just trying to fillet it. I'm not going all the way through, I'm just filleting it. Just pick a side of the spine, yep. Perfect. Yeah. That looks better than mine, awesome. <laughs> I'm making a makeshift grill, and therefore we'll be able to cook the fish over the fire. So I'm going to weave it this way and this way. Basket <gasps> weave? Yeah. Yes, weave. like a simple weave. As long as you get a simple weave in, there's no way to do this incorrectly. So it's not in the fire because I don't want this catching fire, but it's close to the fire. I like to set fish lines that are going to work for me at night. I'm not always actively fishing okay. because then I'm not expending energy at all, but I'm getting calories in. Thank you so much, Nicole, for having us out here in this beautiful location and teaching us such valuable skills. I'm going to be sending you pictures of my feather. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God! Let me know. Like, look at my feathers. Look at my feathers. And I absolutely cannot wait to share some of this information. I love that you'll be passing this knowledge on. I teach this knowledge to my kids, and I just, the more people that can learn it, the better. Leave No Trace is now out on Blu-ray and digital. <laughs>